Good afternoon, my YouTube viewers. It is Crystal here. I'm just here this afternoon because I wanted to make another hy hypothesis test for you. In this test, we're going to use a two sample T test, whereas in the last video, we did a one sample T test. So, in a two sample T test, you have to have two samples of information. So, we've got over here in column A from A3 to A13, we've got a random number between 1 and 10, and in column B, between B3 and B13, we've got another, we've got random numbers between 1 and 10. So in both columns, column A and B, we have random numbers between 1 and 10, and those are two samples of information. We've created our alpha significance, and in this instance, we've created it being a 0 0.5 but you can have it any number that you want up to one because it's a probability. And so if you want to have it as 0 0.05, you can, or 0 0.1, you can, or even 0 0.5, you can. You can have whatever significance level you want. So what we're going to do is we're going to check the mean of the two samples of data. So it's going to be the average of column A, Three to A13 for the first sample, and the average of column B to B, B3 to B13 for the second sample. Then what we're going to do is we're going to check the variance. We're going to check the variance of a sample, and um, Excel has a var.s function that you can use. We're going to use it for sample one and sample two. We're also going to check the standard deviation. I'm not sure that we need standard deviation in this one, but we'll see. And then you've got your standard deviation as being a S for a sample, A3 to A13, and for a number for sample 2, B3 to B13. Now we're going to check the T statistic for the two samples. And um, I got this off the internet. It's G E4 minus G4. So that's your mean. Over the square root of E5, that's your variance, over the number of elements in sample 1, plus G5, again that's your variance, plus the number of elements in sample 2. And then um, that's going to give you uh, 1.061957. We're going to check our degrees of freedom. And the thing about the degrees of freedom, I had to check on the internet. But what I found was, because before the degrees of freedom, it was like saying a degree of freedom of like 20. And I thought, well, that's not right. So I went on the internet searching for degrees of freedom with a two sample test. And your degree of freedom is rho minus 1 times column minus 1. So you had 11 rows. Uh, minus 1, so that's going to be 10, and then you had two columns minus 1, so that's going to be 1, so 10 times 1 is 10, so you have 10 degrees of freedom. We're going to check our p-value, and on our p-value, we're going to check t-test, A3 to A13 is the first column, B3 to B13 is the second column, 2 is going to be a two-tailed test, and one is going to be the type of test that it is. And then I did some research. I even did some research on Microsoft Office, and I didn't really find it. So if you want to know about what type of a test it is, I think you'll have to uh, do some more research. But I researched this all morning long. Now we're going to check the null hypothesis. So the null hypothesis is, if E9, that's your p-value, is greater than E2, that's your significance level. So your p-value is 0 0.33 and your significance level is 0 0.5. So that means that this is a false uh, hypothesis, a, a false um, null hypothesis. It rejects the null hypothesis because the null hypothesis says that the two means are the same, which they're not, and then so you have to accept the alternative hypothesis, which says that the two means are different. So
So we're going to reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternative hypothesis. But let's see here, we're going to change this to 0 0.4, okay? And uh, again, so we check our mean. We've got a mean of 6.3 for the first sample and 5.3 for the second sample. So it's obvious that um, the means are not the same. And then you've got a p-value of 0 0.37. This telling you that the p-value is less than the significance level or the alpha. So again, that's false as well. But if you want to go to 0 0.1, so that gives you a significance level, but it gives you the significance level even though it's 0 0.1 and it says that it's going to accept the null hypothesis. You can see that the null hypothesis should be rejected. So this is like um, a, a false positive. So what you need to do is you need to change your significance level, change your significance level to five, and then that will um, ex that will improve your um, reliability of this test because you've got a mean of five and a mean of six point three. So the two means obviously are not the same. So that means that the null hypothesis should be rejected and the alternate hypothesis accepted. The alternate hypothesis is that the two means are not the same. And you can see that the two means are not the same. And you can see it here, it says a two sample t-test is to test whether the means of two populations are equal. And so that's what we've done. We've tested whether the two populations are equal and We've done it several times, and so that's it. If you want to, if you've got data analysis on your uh, Excel, I mean, you could, if you wanted to, you could go into data analysis, and you could find the t-test, a pair of two sample for means, t-test two sample assuming equal variance, t-test to sample assuming unequal variance. So you could actually do an analysis. So we're going to do an analysis on t-test paired to samples for means. We're going to do OK. But a lot of people um, don't have this on their computer, like I don't have it on my computer at work, and it's also not on OneDrive. It's just because I happen to pay for to pay for Microsoft Office that I have it. But if you don't pay for it, then you might not get it. So variable range one is um, A3 to um, A. 13. Variable range 2 is B3 to B13. And then uh, we don't have any labels. Output range is going to be G10. G10. Okay, so we click OK. It said Output range will overriding existing data. So we're going to cancel this. I don't want it to overwrite any existing data. We're going to make it G15. We're going to make it G15. Because we don't want to overwrite any existing data. And then, so here we have what it is on the data analysis. <clears throat> So you can have it a nice little report printed out to tell you um, everything about this uh, t-test, this two-sample t-test. And um, so it gives you the mean, which we calculated, the variance, the observations, the Pearson correlation, 
the degree of uh, freedom, the T statistic. Let's see what it says there. Okay. Um, then it gives you some P values and T values. So you can use this and you can learn a lot about statistics using this analysis. So I've showed you two ways, two ways to do an analysis. I've showed you one way where you use formulas and uh, Excel formulas. And then a lot of people will have to do that because if you don't have data analysis, if you don't have the most current version of Excel, then you're not going to be able to do data analysis. And I only have Excel because I pay. I pay like eight pounds a month to get Microsoft Office. And I just decided, well, if I'm paying all this money, I may as well use it. So, and the neat thing about um, the Microsoft L, Excel is it will actually go onto OneDrive and I can pull it up online as well if I want. So, uh, Microsoft is like trying to do a little bit more of what Google does, whereas Google has everything online and Microsoft, you can do it online and even, uh, so it's really good and since I'm paying for this, I'm going to use it <laughs> and uh, I'm going to make videos on it and show my viewers. So I'm going to go ahead and close this video because we've talked about a two sample t-test we showed you how to do it with putting formulas in, and then we showed you how to do it with data analysis. So uh, if you like my video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching my video, and I look forward to making more videos for you about statistics in the future.